Hello students, this is topic 5 and uh, this topic 5 is uh, after uh, the theory of acceleration in previous lesson uh, we will give you general equations of motion general equations general equations of motion general equations of motion this uh, these are the equations for solving problems based on acceleration so uh, what are these uh, equations first we have to discuss these galileo the side uh, is the scientist uh, who is uh, behind these uh, equations these three equations are respectively v equal to u plus at s equal to ut plus half at square and v square equal to u square plus 2 at तीन इक्वेशन हम आपको पहले इसीलिए दे दे रहे हैं ताकि आप इन्हें याद करें आगे की थ्योरी में इस टॉपिक के अंदर मैं आपको बताऊंगा कि ये एक्सेलरेशन के बेस पर ये इक्वेशन कैसे बनती हैं क्या है ये इक्वेशंस और मोशन में इनका क्या रोल है इसके बाद एक टॉपिक में हम आपको इसकी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग स्ट्रेटजी भी बताएंगे कि कैसे इन इक्वेशंस को यूज करके प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व की जाती है फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड दिस इन प्रीवियस डिस्कशन वी discussed that acceleration is defined as rate of change of velocity so if t is the time in which velocity u changes to v then by definition we know that acceleration is v minus u upon t so a is v minus u upon t take t in this side you will get a t equal to v minus u and v will be equal to u plus a t this is a very first equation in these three this is called first equation of motion and helpful to solve numerical problems. अभी पहले हम आपको सारी equations की detail दूंगा, फिर हम ये सीखेंगे कि कैसे इन equations को use करके questions solve किए जाते हैं. So this is the first equation, acceleration. This is definition of acceleration. A is v minus u by t. Now take t in the side of acceleration. A t is v minus u. V is equal to u plus a t. Since this equation is in vector form, so you can write it as v vector is u vector plus a vector into t. So v vector is u vector plus a vector into t. This is first equation given by Galileo. v vector is u vector plus a vector into t. And in normal scalar form, it is v equal to u plus a t. You can also solve this equation by using calculus. In calculus, we know that acceleration is defined as dv by dt so dv can be taken as acceleration into dt यहाँ पर एक बात ध्यान रखने की जरूरत है कि इस पूरी प्रोसेस में acceleration एक constant की तरह बिहेव करेगा these equations you can apply these equations only in that case in which acceleration is fixed if acceleration is varying or it changes its direction then you can't use Galileo equation for solving the so, ये बात हमेशा ध्यान रखें कि केवल acceleration की consistency के बेस पर ही हम equations को use कर रहे हैं। Acceleration अगर vary करेगा, तो उस variable problems को फिर हम इन equations को use करके solve नहीं कर पाएंगे। मैं आपको अगले section में ये बात clearly explain करूँगा कि what are the what are the problems which we can solve by using these and in what type what kind of problems we can't use these equations. So, uh, by calculus A is dv by dt, dv is a dt. Now, integrate on both the sides, you will get v is equal to a into t. Time taken by the particle is from 0 to t. 0 is the starting time and velocity changes from u to v. These are limits. Now, you have differentiation section in elementary mathematics for physics. You have learned this before. How do you apply the limit? Apply ki jati टॉपिक पढ़ने से पहले उसका प्रीवियस टॉपिक सीखना आपके लिए बहुत जरूरी है हमने अपने सभी टॉपिक्स को बाय नंबरिंग क्लियरली क्रिएट किया हुआ है इसलिए कोई भी एक लेक्चर आप अटेंड करें उससे पहले प्रीवियस लेक्चर को जरूर एक बार सीखें v is a t now on applying limits v minus u is a into t minus zero so finally you will get v equal to u plus a t so this is the first equation v is equal to u plus a t which we can derive by this method also so this is v equal to u plus a t so these are equations uh, these are three equations and this is the explanation or derivation for first equation 
Generally, this is the definition of acceleration. On solving this, on, on arranging this equation, you will get V equal to U plus AT. And in vectorial form, it is V vector is U vector plus A vector multiplied to time. Multiplied to time. And now, by calculus is dB by dt. So, dB is A dt. On integrating and taking limits, you will get V equal to U plus AT. So, this is the method to solve first equation of Galileo. Now, second, let particle starts with velocity U and ends up to a velocity V. And let S is the total distance covered by the particle in this much time or displacement you can say. Time taken to travel this journey is T and A is the acceleration in throughout track. So since the particle is moving with continuously increasing velocity, acceleration is consistent. When you have told that these equations are applicable when A is constant. So A is constant, it means velocity is increasing in a sequential manner, linearly. Since velocity is increasing linearly, so you can take V plus U by 2 as average velocity throughout the track. And we know that average velocity is total distance, total displacement over total time taken. So S will be equal to half of T and in bracket it is U plus V. Apply the value of V from first equation, you will get the second equation as half T U plus U plus a t. This is s and s equal to half t. It is 2u plus a t. On solving this, you will get u t plus half a t square. This is s. Second equation of motion s equal to u t plus half a t square. s equal to u t plus half a t square. This is second equation. Total displacement is equal to u t plus half a t square. Just I have told you vectorial form. Bataya. This is the vectorial form of this equation. S vector is u vector multiplied to time and half a vector into square of time. This is the second equation given by Galileo. And this is the proof or how we can obtain this equation. This is the method as equal to ut plus half a t square. And similarly, just I have told you here the calculus sequence. Bataya. Yaha bhi For finding second equation, we should use, we know that a is dv by dt, a is equal to dv by dt, acceleration is defined as dv by dt and by this method we have obtained v is equal to u plus at and in calculus velocity is known as ds by dt, velocity is known as displacement over time, so ds by dt is equal to u plus at, take dt in this side, you will get ds is u plus at into dt. Now integrate both the sides. You will get integration of ds is s and that of u is, u is a constant and integration of 1 is t and that of at is a t square by 2. Now on applying the limits 0 to t and for displacement the limits are from s0 to s. This s0 is for the initial position of the particle. Agar particle ki initial position origin hai so you can apply S0 to apply kar sakte hai, lekin agar particle in any initial position such as 5 meter from the origin, it starts from that point, then you should use the limits as this. In this derivation, we had the initial position to 0. If we have the initial position in this derivation, we will not mean S0, then we will replace S S minus S0. So, you have this result and this result is the same. Then, you have to solve this derivation hai, without calculus. We have to think that the particle has started from the origin. Se start kiya hai. So, S represents position of the particle also. But if we have to believe that the particle's initial position is not, then we use S pe S minus S not. Use karte. But this is the derivation by taking origin as the initial point. So if you take origin as the initial point, then limits will be 0 to s or on applying limits it will be s minus 0 is ut plus half at square. 0 on taking 0 you will get 0. So s is ut plus half at square. But one thing is also noticeable here that if you take s 0 in the place of 0 then your equation would be of this form s is s naught plus u t plus half a t square. So if s naught is the initial position, then equation will be this. 
सो दिस इज दे टू डिराइव द इक्वेशन बाई कैलकुलस सो हम आपको पहले नॉर्मल मैथड बता रहे हैं उस इक्वेशन को जनरलाइज करने का फिर कैलकुलस मैथड सो पहला इक्वेशन एक बार फिर से a इक्वल टू वी माइनस यू बाई टी बाई डेफिनेशन ऑफ एक्सलेशन सो वी माइनस यू इज ए टी एंड वी इज इक्वल टू यू प्लस ए टी इन वैक्टोरियल फॉर्म दिस विल बी द फॉर्म सेकेंड इक्वेशन एक्सलेशन इज डी वी बाई डी टी सो डी वी इज ए डी टी एंड ऑन सॉल्विंग इट यू विल गेट वी इज इक्वल टू यू प्लस ए टी दिस इज द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन नाउ This is the path way of the particle. It is it is starts from u ends up to v. S is the total displacement covered t time taken a acceleration, which is consistent constant. So by definition, v plus u by two is s by t. And on solving this, you will get this. And by calculus, you should use d s by d t in the place of v. V is a variable here, but u is a constant value. It is it is the starting velocity of the particle. So on uh, integrating and taking the limits, you will get this. If initial position of the particle is s naught, then the form of this equation will be s equal to s naught plus u t plus half a t square. This is the second equation by calculus and by normal method. Now last equation, the third equation of motion. Uh, first, we solve it in general method. Se solve karte hai. The first equation given by Galileo is v equal to u plus a t. On squaring both the sides, you will get v square is square of u plus a t, and square of u plus a t is u square plus a square t square plus two u a t. This is v square equal to u square plus a square t square plus two u a t. So you can write this as v square equal to u square plus take two a common. If you take two a common, you will get u t, and multiply and divide to two. If uh, you take two a common, you will get u t from here, is this part and half a t square from first part. So this will be v square equal to u square plus two a and u t plus half a t square. This part of the equation is equal to s. So finally, it will be v square equal to u square plus two a s. This is the equation. Third equation given by Galileo. So this is the way to derive it uh, in general way. v is u plus a t this is the first equation dono or maine square kiya then v square is u plus a t whole square a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab two se multiply divide kiya aur 2a ko in dono terms se common le liya 2a ko common lene se ye ban gaya ut and this term will convert it to half a t square and this ut plus half a t square is known as s distance or displacement so v square is u square plus 2s this is Last equation given by Galileo: v square equal to u square plus two s. Yes. Now you can write this in vectorial form as v dot v is u dot u plus two a dot s. This is the vector form of this equation. V dot v is u dot u plus two a dot s. This is the vectorial form. Two a dot s. So v square equal to u square plus two s is numerical way to write. And v dot v is u dot u plus two a dot s. This is the vectorial method to write this equation. Now the last thing is to derive this last result by calculus. So start with the uh, first equation again. We see here that a is dv by dt. A is dv by dt. This is the definition of acceleration in terms of calculus. We can write this equation as dv by ds into ds by dt. क्योंकि आप जानते हैं ये calculus का general rule है कि आप एक variable को दूसरे variable से exchange कर सकते हैं. So we can write this a is dv by ds into ds by dt. This ds by dt is known as velocity. So it is a equal to v dv by ds. Now take ds from uh, in a side. A ds will be v dv and integrate on both the sides. A is a constant here. Integration of ds is integration of v dv. A is constant. Integration of ds is s, and that of v is v square by two. Limits of v are u to v, and that of s is from zero to s. Again, we start from origin. So, my initial position zero. I am going on. It is a, and on taking limits, s minus zero is v square by two minus u square by two. Two can be taken in left side. Two s will be v square minus u square. And v square equal to u square plus two a s. This is the last equation. So this is the way to derive all the equations in general method. 
or by calculus. Uh, so by calculus, you can derive all the equations. Uh, third equation, we will recall kare. V is u plus at is the first equation. Squaring both the sides, you will get this. A plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab. But here we have to say that 2 multiply or divide so that I have 2 a common less of the parts. 2a common is a common because 2a common is the last part of this equation. Well, ut plus half at square convert ho ja rahe hai, and we know that this is equal to s from second equation so v square is u square plus 2s this is the equation third equation by Galileo by calculus a is dv by dt and dv by dt can be taken as dv by ds into ds by dt ds by dt is again v, v dv by ds and you can take ds in left side integration a ds is v dv so a integration ds is v dv ds and you should take limit from 0 to s because particle start from origin and ends up to s distance and velocity limits are from u to v on taking limits and on solving this you will get v square equal to u square plus 2a so this is the last equation given by again you this is a general description of all the equations how to derive these equations this topic is for the derivations of all the general equations only. In our next topic, we will give a clear idea of how to use the equations in Mosul. Here we have given an idea of what are the equations, what are the vectorial form, and how they are derived from the normal method, and how they are derived from the normal method, and how they are derived from the calculus. So, let's understand this clearly. In the next meeting, we will tell you that how are these equations displacement, और डिस्टेंस कैलकुलेट करने के काम आएंगे थैंक यू